Ciao everyone, today I want to talk to you about a great new plugin that Waves created called Wave Studio Rack and its integration with Wave Studio Verse. So if you're interested in mixing and it's blending with AI, I highly recommend you to stay on this video. A while ago I have done a video where I deconstruct the mix I did for a drum kit only using Waves plugins. Now, since I got a lot of requests regarding my mixing chain, I have finally created a custom-made plugin chain you can use, download, and tweak for your own mixes. Now, bear in mind, the kind of mix I did last time was for a drum kit, primarily um, following the, 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 the style that comprised rock and rock pop. So it might not work for every single instance. But what can I tell you is that what you can get with Wave Studio Rack is the ability to download my presets and customize it upon the need. Has it if you have a great starting point, if you don't know from where to start mixing drums, and then retweak it upon your needs. But enough me talking, and let's play a little bit of this track. So as you can hear, this is a classic rock kit. Now what I'm going to do right now is actually going to uh, let you hear the before and after. After. So classic standard rock tune. Now what you can hear from here from this mixing is that drums have gained a lot of weight, a lot of space, a lot of attack and we have kind of polished a very nasty mid-range. Again if you're interested in how I mix his drums I'm gonna leave a link down in the description from where you can actually access that video. Today though I'm gonna be talking about something very exciting called Wave Studio Rack. Now, as you can see over here in my session, actually, throughout my drum kit, all my plugins have been bypassed, and I'm only using one single plugin per kit. I'm going to start with the actual uh, drum bus. Now, this is actually Studio Rack interface, which is the way you have to put it, it's a kind of like one stop for all your plugins. So instead of using uh, a variety of plugins throughout all your Pro Tools inserts or Logic inserts or whatever DAW you're using, you can use this plugin and build your own plugin chain. Now the great thing about it is that you can actually store it and recall it. So put it this way, the way you know great mix engineers think, it's a more of a micro analysis they kind of like tend to see things in a bird eye view. So what is the scope of the song? What is the vision that as a mixer I should have? And how can I further enhance the song? Now, in order to do so, they have very clear in their head an idea of what kind of chain of devices and tools they're going to be using. And so this is exactly what this plugin is. You can actually build your own custom presets and for each single element of your mix, everything is already there, ready to go. And as you can see right now, I have actually renamed my uh, presets. Now, as I was telling you before, Studio Rack, it's a great plugin because it lets you create a chain of plugins, right? And lets you create your own chain, save it, store it, and recall it later. Now, the great thing about this plugin is that it lets you think a little bit more about of the mix in terms, as I was saying before, of plugin chains that should be used to further enhance your song. So that actually once you find the chain of plugins you like, you can actually store it and recall it later in other mix that might work for you. So it's kind of like finding your own uh, texture or sonic texture, store it, 
into a much more advanced template and recall it so that you're going to have your digital studio with you and easily to recall. So I'm going to give you a grand tour of the plugin and how the graphic interface actually looks like so that you can actually get a bit more custom on what you're going to be find. Now Studio Rack is divided in three main areas. The Rack, the Macro, and then All. Let's focus a little bit on the Rack. Now the Rack actually allows you to have your eight slots over here upon which you can upload or load plugins. Again, I can get on this little plus here and just search by, let's say, um, let's say CLA. And over here, I'm going to have all the CLA plugins that I could uh, upload. Let's say CLA 76. I can always bypass it, change it, remove it, and move forward with my chain. Another great feature of Wave Studio Rack is the ability not only to upload plugins, right, but you can as well create parallel splits or multi-band splits. What do I mean by that? So right now, as you can see, I can set my crossover point and I can add as many bands as I want and I can process each one of these bands with different plugins. So imagine, let's say on this drum kit, on the super lows, I want uh, vitamin and process the harmonics on you know, the low end. But in the mid frequencies, I'm going to go a little bit lower than here. So let's say 182 to 1000. I actually want to use something a bit more aggressive, a CLA 76. So I can go here and process and compress the mid range of this drum kit. and keep stacking plugins per band. So instead of creating multiple auxes and process these auxes differently or duplicating the tracks and with one track you might work a bit more on the lows, with another track you will work on the highs, with another track you actually will work on the mids. In this case, I can create my multi-band splits crossover and add as many plugins as I want. Again, I'm gonna go here and remove it. And it's that easy. Now, another thing I can actually do with my Wave Studio Rack is having access to my macros. Now, what are macros? Macros are assignable buttons that actually I can use to get access easily to some of the features of plugins that I have within my chain. So as you can see here, if I click on Macro 1, it's going to show me the chain of plugins I have. And I could say, well, on my... Tech, um, I want to have access to my, let's say, low boost attenuation. So what happened is that from my macro here, I can actually have access, let me put it that way, to my low. As you can see here, I'm actually moving it. So it's just a fast way to get access to the favorite part of these plugins without the need of opening these plugins. You can always remove the macro uh, or edit the macro upon your needs. Lastly, you have all. Now, this tab, of course, is pretty self-explanatory. It has the macros and the actual chain within the rack. And that's pretty much it as far as Studio Rack goes. So now that we have covered all the basics of Wave Studio Rack, it's time to move into the world of AI. So right now I'm going to talk to you about Studioverse. Now Studioverse pretty much allows you to access a phenomenal community of producers, engineers, uh, mastering engineers. And not only you have access to this community, but you're also able to download the preset chain that they used. So imagine having access to, let's say, uh, Chris Lord Algae. Um, mix and chain for drums or guitars or bass or Young Guru's vocal chain. Now I can actually access Studioverse. And what is amazing about it is that it's a phenomenal community where you can share your chain with other people. So I'm going to show you a couple of very cool things about this. The first thing that I'm going to do is to show you a little bit how does it work. 
So over here, once you purchase um, Studio Rack, you shall create your own Studioverse account. How do you do it? By clicking on this little icon and you can actually log in within your profile. Now the great thing, and this is the bonus about this video, is that I have uploaded my custom made preset for my drum chain and it's up to you as long as you add me at, at Matteo Marciano Music, which is also my Instagram account, by the way, you have access to my chain and you can visit the chain. Let's say, let's get on, uh, let's get on, well, there, there's more. We can get on to the, the drums, you know, the bus rock. And I can get over here and I can copy and paste it within my studio rack and automatically can copy and drag it into my studio rack but i can do something even more than that uh, let me open an actual another instance of it so a great feature also a little bit terrorizing is that ai has the power of analyzing your track and suggests you specific drum chains in this case drums but it could be vocals it could be bass synthesizer whatever you want that could be used for or should be used for your song for instance I made this selection and now I'm going to click on this little icon over here and I'm going to let Studioverse and Studio Rack analyze the content that I'm playing and they will start accessing Studioverse and downloading for me to test different type of chains of plugins that will work within Studio Rack. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Analyzing it. And there you have it. So over here, I can have access. Oh, funny enough, there is even my drum bus, uh, which is down here. So I'm not going to download it because it's the one we're listening to it. But right now, let's say we can get uh, punchy drums. We have access to Abbey Road's drums. Um, let's get to, of course, the the king of all drums. Let's see. Let's do a search for drums. CLA. You can even look for your favorite mixer, Tony Maserati uh, Magic Beat. I can click on this little arrow and all of a sudden, bam, I have Tony Maserati with, uh, with even his parallel split chain. So right now I can audition it. Interesting. Let's get on something more. Let's see CLA stereo, for instance. Let's see what it got. And then you can, of course, compare it with yours. So this is what we're going to do. So right now we're going to listen to CLA's first. Mine. I think CLA is a bit too aggressive for this specific track, but what I could do is still open his presets, right? And kind of like tweak things that I find not working well with my song, right? Now, I think this is a spectacular thing that you could do because right now, A, you have access to a variety of mixing styles that before were always kept underneath the hood. So you can really see what pros are doing you can access a phenomenal communities and yet learn from it. I think it's a no brainer. Now, disclaimer, I don't think this could actually replace, uh, you know, the ability of a professional mix engineer to kind of like establish the true emotional response out of what he's mixing here. She might be mixing. But certainly this is a phenomenal plugin if you want to kind of like get your toes wet in understanding how different people mix music, having access to their plugin chain, and kind of like learn in a very healthy way to start, you know, your journey into mixing. This is a great new way to connect 
and I highly encourage you to explore Wave Studio Rack and Studioverse. If you're interested in demoing it or even purchasing it, I'm going to leave it a link down in the description for you to check it out. Until next tutorial, happy mixing.